Okay. Well, I uh, wanted to report something here. This is a critical issue. Watch this here. When you get one of these dream bike uh, um, conversion kits, tricycle conversion kits, you've got a. Um, I saw this on Sam uh, Art. Sam, uh, the guy, he, he he's another guy who did this. And he, he's like me, kind of really overdoes stuff. Anyway, uh, his he stretched his spokes right off the bat too. So I'm, I was aware that it would happen, but I didn't I didn't realize it would happen. You know, I, I'm not doing backflips and stuff. This one's not so bad, but uh, that one over there was to the point of a critical failure. Um, that could have been very bad. So uh, I wanted to make note of that so everybody knows that, uh, that you'll stretch the spokes and you'll want to tighten them up and keep it safe. And uh, other than that, everything's great so far. Okay, this is a video that's going to be a little bit uncomfortable making. Uh, let's see uh, what's going on here. Uh, I, uh, I've been very busy, but, uh, I tightened the spokes up, and, uh, I got a little upset thinking about that. That was a, that was a critical failure, and, uh, if it would have happened when I was out there running the high-speed test, well, it could mean my life, stuff like that. Anyway, um, so, Sam Pilgrim, uh, he, uh, he's the guy who experimented with these two, and he had good luck, just like I've had. Um, but he had to tighten the spokes. Of course, he's extreme, and this is an extreme setup. Now, the, the other setup here, I hadn't have to do that. I've never had to do that, and they're fine. Now, the thing is, they got me when, when I was tightening them. They were kind of ridiculously loose. That was uh, scary, and I'm not sure what that's about. There was a... Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's something to watch for. When you get your dream bike... Uh, try conversion um, watch for the spokes and, uh, you'll need to tighten them there's there's a good possibility at some point you're going to need to tighten them up now I haven't had to on the little on the little uh, the basic model here that uh, that I'm selling by the way here let me show you what you can I, I can build you one of these while I'm doing this I guess I'll do a little kind of an ad here I can build you this setup here for $2,500, and it's very good. It's better than anything you can get. It's got better numbers. It's got a 1,000-watt motor, which is most of them you get as a 750-watt. Uh, it has 21 speeds okay, instead of uh, 7, so that's, that's real nice, too. You know you're going to get home. If your battery runs out, you've got the gears to go up any hill. You've got a granny gear, and you've got a highway gear and everything got a tool kit and I'll show you what the tool kit consists of here. Uh, I got my other stuff in here but a locking mechanism, a nice tool bag with basic tools, um, a jack, air pump, at least two tubes. I, I recommend carrying at least two, sometimes I carry like four of each tire because you I don't know. You don't know what you're going to get into. It's nice to have plenty of tubes. You know. Hopefully, you're not be changing that many flats, but it happens. Flats are a part of life, and uh, uh, I imagine this won't be any different. Yeah, let me show you the basic tool kit here. Oh, a stand. It's uh, you got to have a stand when you do a wheel, and. Uh, basic tools so anyway this one here though this baby here I don't want to be dealing for people my solution here is a uh, unique I it, it works great it works great but it is top heavy and it's uh, I hit that top speed there but the honest truth is is I, I could have went quite a bit faster but it, it, don't, it felt like it was getting kind of airborne this thing's like a big wing up here, and if it if it forms a vacuum and forms lift, it, uh, it, anyway, that could get kind of hairy. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do though, my solution is to the 
practical running of it is I'll take the top off, which I can easy, pretty fairly easily remove the top, and set it up out in the sun, and uh, run the wires for a, a solar parking charging station. And then I'll just park it there, and it'll always, same deal, it'll always be ready to go. But I'm not carrying my power with me, which is the really nice, cool thing about this for long distance journeys. Uh, wow, what a bug out vehicle this is. Anyway, I could build this for people, but it's a peculiar thing. It, uh, they have to sign some release forms and stuff and whatnot. But, uh, you know, you, you got to do things at your own risk. It's a, anyway. Uh, but I can tell you this one here is a doll. This one here, you can jump on. It has a low center of gravity. It has all the good stuff. Um, you just can't beat it. You can't. You, you can't beat this. It has a differential on the rear axle. Has good brakes on all wheels. All wheel drive. Three wheel drive. It's literally three wheel drive. There's a. There you go. The other one, would, we'd have to talk. It would be at the minimum 6,000, probably something more like 10,000 because uh, it's a work of love. And uh, it just stuff like that. Anyway, I don't know, you know. And th th there's this one, and that's it pretty much. I, I did, that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking right now. I just The chariot is going to be a unique one to me right now. Until I make sure that it's safe. Uh, the old solo was just as precarious or more precarious, actually. Yeah, uh, the old, the first solo before this one was uh, really precarious. Had some real close calls. I've I've faced my death out on the highway a couple times. I like, uh, foolhardy or faith, I don't know, but uh, I got to do what I got to do. And uh, the intention is to create a vehicle that'll provide most of the things that I need. I still keep my van, and I keep keep an insurance and plates on it and all that, and my truck. But uh, I may not be always able to do that. The way things are going, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so uh, I'm going to go on a trip today. I'm going to try it out again. I've got the spokes all tightened up nice. So that's the scary part about this thing. That's what I might want to reiterate. Anybody who gets one of these dream bike tri tricycle conversion kits is uh, watch your spokes. At, uh, Sam Pilgrim had that happen. And of course, he was extreme, and I'm doing something extreme, too. And mine, uh, mine loosened up, too. It could have cost me my life, though. And so... It's, it's something to be taken very seriously. It's, uh, it's like tuning a guitar, you know, you stretch the strings. Uh, everything's in tune, it feels fine, but then the strings stretch. And these spokes, that was a little bit more stretched than I can imagine. They, were un, they weren't actually threaded up to where they should have been. These spokes were engineered to be, you know, you can, you've got like a good starting point that's pretty much there if you just thread it down to where the threads disappear. That's what it's engineered to be on most of them. And it happens to be on these too, but it was unthreaded quite a ways from that. It felt fine when I constructed it and when I rode it around. And uh, this wasn't until after a trip to the church and back that, that I actually noticed it was critically going to fail. It was, it was a critical failure waiting to happen. And that's scary. That's really scary. So anyway, update, update. And there's <laughs> uh, that cat. There's that cat.